What's up everyone and welcome to the Boyer's YouTube channel. In today's video I'll be discussing seven things that I learned while snow biking. For those that don't know, recently went on a timber sled snow trip in Colorado. <laughs> trying the timber sleds, learned a ton, and want to pass on some of that information out to you all. I rented the bikes from Rocky Mountain Adventure Rentals. I highly recommend them and look forward to using their bikes again and getting back out there because it was such a blast. All right, so let's dive into it. The first thing, bring buddies. I was fortunate enough to have Spragoogie, who's been out there a ton of times. And if you haven't been out there before and you don't have a friend that's been out there before, definitely take the guided tour just to get used to everything. It's very easy to kind of get turned around. We actually went through a, a whiteout and got a little lost. Spurgoogie having his experience obviously has the GPS and making sure we know to get back and it really helps with that, that safety feature. The other thing of, of bringing buddies is just the fact that it is tough when you fall over. Uh, you need a little bit of help. You're in deep powder and can't get the bike up because you can't get the leverage. It's nice to have a friend there that can make sure, one, you're all right, and then two, help you get out of a tricky situation. All right, so the second thing. There is a kind of an adaption period, I guess you could call it. I got on the bike, ridden dirt bikes all my life, figured it'd be a, a very quick transition. I was shocked that I had a, a struggle just getting out of the parking lot. So it did take a little while. It is a lot tougher on the real hard packed snow like the parking lot. Once you get out onto the trail, you know, it was a little bit easier, but still was a, a struggle. So I suggest getting out to kind of some fresh powder, being able to play around with the bike, get comfortable, learning how far you can lean it over, get used to kind of your front, your, your rear brake that stops the tracks is actually where your front brake is. There is no rear brake pedal on the bike. So definitely some, some just pieces that it takes a little bit to get used to. Don't get frustrated. Trust me, each day I started feeling more and more comfortable. But it did take me longer than I thought. I think it was a, a good hour before, uh, you know, I, I really adapted a, a little bit. And then even after that, it was constantly each day getting uh, improvement and feeling more comfortable on the bike. The, the third thing, which I think was the hardest for me, you know, I did it numerous times on the first day. After that, I, I didn't do it at all just because it, it's so tough to pick up the bike. But when you come to a stop, naturally on a dirt bike, you, what do you do? You put your feet down to catch yourself. These bikes do balance, and what happens is if you go to stop and you go to put your foot down, especially when you're in deep powder, you, your body shifts the bike just enough to where it won't balance, and next thing you know, there you go falling over because the snow is way deeper than you anticipated and you're not able to catch yourself. And trust me, picking these bikes up out of deep snow and the higher altitude when you're not used to it is a chore and it's not something that I wanted to repeat. So it was constantly telling myself when I came to a stop, don't put your feet down, just balance. Uh, make sure that you're coming to a stop on kind of a flat ground and you'll be fine and it'll save a ton of energy. The fourth thing, momentum is still your friend. These bikes, when you point them, they will go. But if you get into the deeper powder and you're really working up a, a steep hill, it's important to carry that momentum at the bottom of the hill. There were some hill climbs where, you know, I started in, in fifth gear and you're downshifting and downshifting and you can feel the bike uh, struggling a little bit as you get into that deeper powder and the steeper hills. So you want to carry as much momentum when you're going to be approaching a big hill. The next thing is, and I think it was my one of my bigger worries was just staying warm. Am I going to be too hot? Am I going to be too cold? So really getting the right gear. And I'm going to dive into another video of exactly what I wore. I'll link that up here. And you'll be able to kind of just see what I uh, wore, what worked. It ended up being perfect, the gear that I had. And I really did a balance of using gear either I already had or gear that I know I'd use in the future on my 1290. I didn't want to just buy specific snow gear that I was going to use for this one-time trip. I really wanted to balance. So I think a lot of great information that I can share there. The next part is find fresh powder. We rode some trails, you know, the first day they get whooped out. It wasn't quite as much fun. Well, still a lot of fun. Once we hit that fresh powder area, we found a huge open area that we could just play, even go get in between some, some trees and some elevation changes. 
and you can just lean that bike completely over, wide open, snow spraying. Fresh powder was a ton more fun on these bikes. The trails are a little bit harder to turn on when you have that packed down snow. So definitely find yourself some fresh powder and, and let that bike eat. The last thing is just go do it. It was one of those things that I always thought, you know, I gotta do that one day, make it happen, plan the trip, get out there and just try one of these bikes, especially if you're an avid motorcyclist or dirt biker. It, it is truly unique to, to get on one of these bikes. I personally have never been on snowmobiles or even really ridden in, in deep snow and absolutely loved it. Had a, a ton of fun and look forward to going back. I did originally think this would be a bucket list item. I just check off, good to go. Nope. <laughs> now this is going to have to be a recurring event. So if you ever considered it, just get out there, rent the bike, have a blast and love to share uh, you know, in the comments of anyone that's tried it out or is thinking about trying it out, feel free to ask any additional questions. But that's seven things that I learned on the trip trying out a timber sled for the first time. Please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you all next time.